Hi, it's Randall with Carter Hill Honeybees. Today is Sunday, March the 21st, 2021. It's been eight days since I caught this swarm that I produced a video on called How I Capture Swarms Two to Eight Feet Off the Ground. So I just want to come back and show you the results. It's been eight days since then. So basically what I've done, I caught that swarm and I come back over here and evaluated the nuke that it come out of. I felt like they wasn't enough bees to adequately raise queens. The swarm may be okay, but also there's not much resources. I would definitely have to feed them. So I felt like it was a good time to conduct an experiment. So I decided to combine the bees back together. And so today I'm gonna to open this hive up and we're gonna look through it and uh, show you how this experiment turned out. And as you can see, the way the bees are acting right now, they're bringing in lots of pollen. It's been, it was cold last couple of nights. So they kind of doing a little bit of a cleansing orientation flight right now. But it looks like they've settled right in and went back to work. Now I just need to figure out if they're gonna rear those queens or did they simply just turn into growth mode since I provided them four new drawn out combs for them to expand their brood nest in. So kind of to recap, once I combine the colony, I put a queen excluder under the hive to keep them from swarming again. I don't think they attempted to swarm, but I don't see any evidence of it. Now, something that's interesting is over at the tree where they settled, there was probably 50 or 100 bees that stayed there that I shook them off several times. They would not come back to the hive and they stayed over there. There's still a couple over there, but they pretty much just died off a little at a time. So that I thought that was kind of interesting. Now, why that is, I don't know. My, my, my guess, and it's strictly a guess, is perhaps that's the scout bees and some maybe perhaps there's some kind of biological or pheromone change that takes place in their body when they swarm but it just, it's just like they will not come back to that colony. And uh, I think those are the scout bees that lead the swarm off and, and seek out and find their new home. But that, like I said, that's strictly just my guess. We're fixing to dive into this box and see what we have. And at the least, I'm gonna take this queen scooter off because obviously I don't need it on there anymore. It's restricting the bees a little bit. So it served its purpose. Beautiful day right now, it's about uh, 62 degrees, the humidity is real low. It got down about 36 last night. The bees are really just starting to fly good today. So I'm basically gonna just turn this lid upside down. And then I'm gonna set my, basically in the reverse order as I did when I captured the swarm, I'm gonna set the whole box over here and remove the queen excluder. She's gained a little weight over a week. So I'm gonna kind of look, make sure the queen is not down here on the queen excluder. I don't see her, so I think we're in good shape there. So now I've got my box back in place. Got the queen excluder out of the way. Now I'm gonna commence my inspection here to see what, what's going on. Well, the first thing I really notice is how calm the bees are. They're not running about. So I'm well pleased with that. They're actually occupying a lot of these new combs I put in here. I put four frames of drawn out comb in here, hoping to see what would happen. So we're gonna take it out and see if there's any activity in it since I put them back in here. Well, that's obvious. That's a frame that was in the nuke there. There's some bees emerging on it. Don't see any queen cups on that one. I am gonna, I don't normally pull every frame, but I will on this one because I wanna see if they built out the queen cells, or if they abandoned the building them and are gonna just turn back to storage or build up mode. Well, they, they are, uh, this is one of the frames I did put in there last Sunday. And they're definitely putting some nectar in here. 
And as the queen's been up here laying too, I see lots of young larvae. And uh, they're swimming in a good amount of royal jelly. So they're looking real good. So it looks like the queen is taking back off the laying. And this would have been the very outside frame on the newt. It looks really good. There are lots of eggs in here too. So this must be one of the frames I put in last week. Well, this side's got more nectar. I don't really see any eggs on this side. I do see development of a queen cup there, but there's nothing in it. So I feel like it's getting to be the time of the year you're gonna see queen cups in there. It's not an emergency, don't mean they're gonna swarm necessarily they, they normally keep them in there starting around this time of the year for emergencies lots of young larvae there so this colony I believe it is totally abandoned the swarming imports. I have yet to come across any of those queen cups from last week. But there's one there. Yeah, there's nothing in it. So there, nothing in that one either. So they built some new queen cups, but I think I've bought a couple of weeks of time, which is all I really needed. I hope we save that for this colony from swarming. So this is something I've learned. This will be something new that I can use in the future. I, think, I feel like this was a success. So this frame is kind of partially drawn, but it's got a lot of eggs on this side, so that. They've ramped that queen up pretty good. So I think I've learned something new right there. So this is something I can definitely do again in the future if I need to. Now this may not work this way on all colonies. Now all colonies, in my opinion, have a little bit different personality and they're gonna respond a little differently, but on average, there's not a dramatic difference, I don't think. I'll be able to put this colony into honey production, which is my original intent. I feel pretty good about the, they've turned around, they're not gonna swarm. So here in the next couple of days, I'm gonna need to get this colony out in one of my production yards and get some supers on it. I probably need to get that done within the next week to 10 days. So this, going to, this colony is about to experience a pretty rapid population increase. That, that wraps it up. I, I think this experiment was a success. The other way, I could have left it alone. I feel like I would have lost probably the nuke and gained the swarm. The net result would have been one colony, so I tried to put them back together. At least eight days later, it looks like it's a success. So now I've got one strong colony instead of one wheat colony in a, in a queenless nuke. I'm glad I was able to share this experiment where you can kind of see what happened. I'm sure this is something I've never done before. Uh, so this was all new for me and we got to see it together. Well, I appreciate you for joining me for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time.